In this video, I'm going to review Go High Level, probably the most important business tool I use on a day to day basis. We're going to talk about what the CRM is, all the features, all the software it actually replaces, the pros and cons, who it's for, who it's not for, pricing, how you can get an extended trial, and I'll actually take you through the software step by step and show you everything it can do. My name is Charlie. I'm an avid Go High Level user. And overall, this is an amazing platform. I truly believe that every entrepreneur, every business owner should learn how to use Go High Level because when you learn the software and actually implement it into your your business, the automations, the systems, all the AI you can set up, it's gonna have a really positive impact on your business. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's first talk about what high level is. Go high level or high level is basically a CRM. This stands for customer relationship management system. It also is a full on marketing suite and it actually replaces a ton of different software. So essentially you can build and run your entire business through high level. And this is exactly what I do for my businesses. They're all run through this software. Now, if you're a beginner to this type of software, this is basically what High Level does. It allows you to capture leads using landing pages, forms, calendars, and a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna help you nurture those leads so that they can actually become paying clients or customers. And you do this through emails, through SMS campaigns. There's a ton of stuff that you can do all within High Level. And once they become clients, you can actually collect payments, track analytics, and a bunch of other stuff. So think of it as like the foundation, the backbone in which you build and run your business. Later on in this video, I'll show you exactly how everything works. And you're gonna be absolutely blown away by all the things you can do within high level. Trust me, it is absolutely insane. Now, if you guys know me, I'm a pretty frugal person. I love saving money. And one of the best things about high level is that it actually replaces a ton of softwares. So instead of having like dozens of different subscriptions, you can actually cancel a lot of them and just use high level. So for me, I know I save at least $500 to $1,000 per month. And that makes this, in my opinion, one of the best deals for software. So one of the main questions I always get is, Charlie, what's the best plan for me? And as you can see here, there are two main plans that most people use. Use. There's the starter plan and there's the unlimited plan. There's also another plan that's $497 a month, but most of you guys won't need that. So what I will say for you guys is most of you guys should be able to start on the starter plan. It's $97 per month. And this basically allows you to have three different sub accounts. So basically what a sub account is, is like a business. If you have three different businesses, you can run all three on three different high level accounts. Now, if you want unlimited sub accounts, and this is great for people that have a lot of businesses like me, then the unlimited plan is going to be a better deal. Plus, if you have clients and you want to give out high level accounts to them for free or part of their package, then you'll probably want to get the unlimited plan because then you can just keep creating more and more sub accounts. You can give these sub accounts to your clients for free or you can charge them some amount of money. And yes, you can literally have hundreds of different sub accounts with this plan. So that's pretty cool. If you're just starting out and you don't have a ton of clients that you want to give accounts to, then in my opinion, the starter plan is better just to start. It'll save some money and at any point, you can absolutely just upgrade to the unlimited account. The pricing, $97. 297, super, super affordable in my opinion. You're saving so much money by replacing your other software. And so I like to view it as actually like kind of free. Now, as you can see on the public website, they have a 14 day free trial. If you want an exclusive longer trial, I'll actually have a link down below. With that link, you'll get a 30 day trial. Test it out, play with it, see if it makes sense for your business. And also when you use that link, you're actually gonna get a ton of freebies. So I'm gonna send you guys all my templates that I use within my businesses. These are all things that are already built out. So you can literally just plug and play and you'll get a ton of free bonuses that I'll send out over email. A lot of free stuff and also that extended trial. So I do encourage you guys to use that link down below. Now let's talk about who High Level is for and who it isn't for, because this is definitely not a software that is perfect for everyone. Of course, I'm a huge fan, but there are some downsides and I'm definitely gonna cover that. So I think the perfect person to use High Level is gonna be a service-based business. So if you own a service-based business, that is perfect or any type of agency. Let's say you have a marketing agency, an email agency, any type of agency where you have different clients, this is perfect. I use High Level for my overseas recruiting company, Paired. We run everything through this software and it's been absolutely amazing. If you're a smaller to medium sized business, I think High Level is great. They're constantly tweaking their features and adding more. And while it may not be as polished as some other like dedicated softwares out there, the functionality overall is extremely good. However, if you are an enterprise user, if you have a company that has hundreds or thousands of people, I don't recommend using High Level just yet. You'll probably want to use 
use something like HubSpot or Salesforce. But for me and most people, I think this is the perfect platform. High Level is also not very good for e-commerce right now. So if you're trying to sell stuff online, I'd say just go use something like Shopify. That's what everyone uses because the e-com functionality for High Level just is not there yet. But yeah, basically service-based businesses, agencies, course sellers, coaching. These are really the perfect types of businesses for Go High Level. In terms of the pros and cons, one thing I'll say is that the support you get with High Level is absolutely insanely good. For example, at any time, I can literally come here, click on this question mark, and I can start a Zoom call with a customer support person from their team and get any of my questions or concerns answered. You can also chat with them. You can create a ticket. But basically, if there's anything you don't know how to do or any troubles you're having, it is so easy to get a hold of their team and get that solved. This has saved me countless times. And I know high level can seem pretty daunting at first. It's quite complicated. And so having this type of really good support makes a huge difference. High level also has a ton of AI features. And if you've seen any of my other content, you know that I really believe AI is the future and every business should absolutely be using AI to optimize how their businesses are run. So for example, we can use high level to create voice AI agents. They can literally have phone calls with your leads and clients and customers. They also have conversation AI agents. So these can actually message with your leads and clients. You can train the knowledge base to give it a lot of context. And that way the AI is going to know how to answer different questions. And there's also a ton of different AI agent templates that you can install into your business. The pros are also that you can do pretty much anything you want in high level. And later on, I'll show you guys all these different features. Now for the cons, there are definitely some places where high level could be better. For example, their email functionality, while it's good for, I'd say 95% of people, if you have a huge email list, like 100,000 plus people, you probably want to go with a more dedicated email software. Another is that since there are so many different functions within high level, it can be quite hard to learn for beginners. I have a complete Go High Level tutorial on my channel. I'll put a link down below. And if you actually go through that video, it's actually not that hard. Yes, it seems complicated at first, but you can absolutely learn it. The most important thing is that you actually just play around with it while watching a video like that. The hands-on experience is what is really going to help you learn. Another con is that there are upsells within High Level. So if you want certain advanced features, there are going to be upsells. So just keep that in mind. However, for most people, you probably will never need to pay for those upsells because the features that come with high level are going to be enough for almost all you guys. So let me take you guys through my dashboard of my high level account. This is a demo business account. So this is a sub account. And as you can see, these are all the different sub accounts I have in this account. I currently have the unlimited plan, which means I can have unlimited sub accounts. And that's why I have so many different ones. I also have some clients that I've created accounts for. So those are all going to be listed right here. But with the starter plan, you can still have three of these different sub accounts. The launch pad is a great place to basically get started and connect all your accounts. So I recommend going through this once you create an account and connecting all these things because that's going to enable a lot of the cool features. Now your dashboard is going to give you an overview of your business. You can customize this dashboard. You can change the dates and you can see how many clients you are, the total opportunity value of your current clients, leads, your Google Analytics report, and a bunch of other really crucial stuff. Conversations is basically one place where you can see every single conversation that's happening within your business. So all your emails, all your SMS, that's all going to show up right here. Here. Of course, in this demo account, I don't have any conversations, but for example, these are the conversations for my overseas recruiting agency. I can email people, I can send SMS all from one space. Calendars is a great feature in high level. Basically, you can create new calendars for different people. You can set your availability. If you have a team that takes sales calls, you can actually assign different leads to them. For example, if I go to calendar settings, I can click add new calendar. We can choose from any of these calendar types. So for example, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one meetings, you can choose this one. If you want to distribute appointments among different uh, salespeople on your team in rotating order, you can use this one. And yeah, it's very, very similar to Calendly. It basically completely replaces that. So yeah, we heavily use the calendar feature within our companies. It actually works really well. Contacts is where all of your contacts and leads and clients are going to show up. If you click on a person, it's going to show you all the information you have on them. It's going to show you when you have contacted them, any conversations, as well as all the activity. Opportunities is super cool where you can basically build these different pipelines. If you guys use my link, it comes with a bunch of different pipelines that I personally use in my businesses. As a person goes from a lead to a paying client or customer, you can actually move them from status to status. And so it gives you a really good overview of where a person is currently in your pipeline. You can, of course, create different automations to move people from one status to another. And this organizes everything extremely well. With payments, yes, you can take payments within high level. You can send invoices, you can send documents and contracts. So we use these features heavily. You can also send payment links. And high level is also a full-on marketing suite. So you can connect all your social platforms and basically be able to schedule and post content all from 
one place. It's insane. Automations is a place where high level really shines. You can create these different workflows that run automatically when a trigger is triggered. You can build these workflows using AI. But for example, if I were to come here and click create workflow, we can select from template. I'm just going to show you guys some examples. They're called recipes and they're pre-built workflows. For example, auto missed call text back. We can preview this. And as you can see, there's a trigger. So an incoming call is missed and then it's going to do a bunch of different things. If you're not texting potential leads after they call you and you miss the call, you're missing out on a lot of business. So you should absolutely have something like this running at all times. If I choose this template, I can actually go ahead and edit it. So any of these different things I can edit. For example, the slight delay, we're waiting 0.2 minutes. We can change this if we want. We can assign it to a user, create some type of tag. We can change what we're going to actually send to them. And yeah, super, super helpful. You guys should have tons and tons of these workflows running at all times. That's really what makes a business a business. And finally, you can actually build sites directly within high level. You can build funnels, you can build landing pages, you can build full on websites. Of course, it's not as good as some of the more dedicated website builders, but I've built a lot of pages using high level and they're actually really good. This can 100% replace click funnels. One of the bonuses that I actually give out is a custom built landing page that looks really good. And you get that for free if you guys use my link. So yeah, those are all the features I want to cover in this video. If you want me to go more in depth in all of them, you'll probably want to check out one of my other high level videos. This video is more of like a review. So I just went to them really briefly, but hopefully you guys can see just how powerful high level is and how many different things you can do and build within the software. This is one of those softwares that has actually changed my life. And I'm not just saying that I truly mean it. There's a reason why I run all my businesses through high level now. It's allowed me to become a better entrepreneur by learning all the features and actually building them out for my businesses. And that's why I think every business owner should absolutely learn high level and implement all the different things you can do within it. If you do that, you're going to have a business that basically can run itself with different automations, different workflows, different processes. You're going to really be able to optimize the flow from a lead turning into an actual client. And I guarantee you, if you actually use the software properly, it's going to make you a lot of money. So yes, there of course are some drawbacks to it. I covered them in this video, but for anyone that's a non-enterprise and non-e-commerce business, someone that does some type of service or agency, please, please, please check it out. You can get my free snapshot and templates when you use my link. That's going to give you a ton of free plug and play stuff to just drop into your business. And yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Overall, fantastic software. If you've been on the fence, at least just try it out. Get that extended 30-day trial. Try out my snapshots, my templates. And I really think you're going to fall in love with high level. If you guys got any value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. On this channel, I do a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, finance, and just stuff to help you live a financially successful life. I really, really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.